Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve one very interesting system of equation. 4th root of 1 plus 5x plus 4th root of 6 minus y equal to 3. This is equation number 1 and second equation is 5x minus y equal to 80. So let's get started by considering 4th root of 1 plus 5x u and 4th root of 6 minus y equal to v. So if I will write our equation then u plus v equal to 3. This is what we can write once we are taking substitution u and v. Okay. Now from second equation I can write from equation number 2 y would be 5x minus 18. So if I will write 6 minus y then this value would be 6 minus 5x plus 18 or 24 minus 5x. So in place of 6 minus y I can write 24 minus 5x means this equation can be written as 1 plus 5x plus 4th root of I can write here 24 minus 5x and see our consideration our assumption is this one is u and this one is v. So second equation I can frame this is first equation second I can write u power 4 plus v power 4 once you will add both then it will come out 25 check okay now two equation we have to find out uv first why this question is unique you will understand little later let me expand let me write u plus v whole power 4 let's apply directly pascal triangle or binomial expansion so i will use direct coefficient so for power 4 the coefficients are 1 4 6 if you remember 1 4 6 4 1 okay so let's use it u power 4 plus 4 first power will decrease second will increase plus 6 u square v square plus 4 u v cube plus u power v power 4 okay 1 4 6 4 1 now let's put the value of u plus v equal to 3 so here i am going to write 3 let me write and see u power 4 and v power 4 so that is also known 25 so let me put the value 3 power 4 equal to 25 plus between 4 u cube v and 4 u v cube i am going to take 4 uv common so in bracket we'll be having u square plus v square and the central term it would be as it is unchanged so i will write plus 6 u square v square okay 3 power 4 is 81 81 minus 25 56 that would be equal to 4 uv u square plus v square I can write u plus v whole square plus 2 uv so minus 2 uv. Once I will subtract 2 uv from u plus v whole square I will be having u square plus v square plus 6 u square v square. Now again I will put u plus v equal to 3. So here I will write 9 u plus v whole square. I can cancel immediately if you can cancel see this way also I will write here 3 so numbers would, would be smaller and that would be good thing 2 uv in bracket u plus v whole square so I will write 9 minus 2 uv plus 3 u square v square okay 
if I will expand this one, so I will get 18 uv minus 4 u square v square plus 3 u square v square. So shall I write directly minus u square v square? Here I will write 28. Check this out. Let's take all the term to the left hand side and it is quadratic in u v. Let me write here. Equation is u square v square minus 18 u v plus 28 equal to 0. Okay. So this is quadratic in u v. Let me apply quadratic formula. Now by putting value minus v so 18 plus minus 100 the root 324 minus 112. If you will take away this value will come out 212. See it is let me write here 18 plus minus under the root of 212 over 2. So it is 4 times 53. So I can write this value as 18 plus minus 2 root 53 divided by 2. So last step I can write 9 plus minus root 53. So there are two possible values of uv. Okay. From here we can write v equal to 9 plus minus root 53 over u. This value of v I am going to put in u plus v equal to 3 equation. Okay. So let's frame the equation. So I will write here u plus v equal to 3 first. Then I will be writing u plus in place of v I will write 9 plus minus root 53 over u equal to 3. So it will form one quadratic equation. Let me show you directly. Multiplying this equation by u, we will get this quadratic equation. See this equation. Now I split on the basis of plus minus sign. 9 plus square root 53, 9 minus square root 53. So there are two equations possible. Once you will consider 9 plus root 53. Let me see you. Let me show you 9 plus root 53. That value would be uh, root 53 is greater than 7. So this value is greater than 16. If you will find out delta here, b square minus 4ac, then b square is 9 minus 4 times 16 greater than means number is more than 64. So this value is negative. Complex solution is possible or about to come. So we can reject this one. Okay. Rejected. Now only we have to solve the second one equation, which is u square plus minus 3u this one. Let's apply it directly formula u equal to minus b so 3 plus minus square root of 9 b square minus 4ac so minus 4 times 9 minus root 53 divided by 2. Once you will simplify this so I am writing half the denominator 3 plus minus 4 root minus times minus plus so 4 root 53 minus 27. This is we will get once we will simplify or solve this one. Now only need to find out value. This question is unique because we are not getting integer value or rational value. It is coming out decimal value. So if you will find out this value using Kelsey or you are simply putting the value then we will be getting u as, let me write directly, we are getting half, let's put the value, so 3 plus minus, that is square root is 14.456 and see it is plus minus, so one time I will be having 4.456 divided by 2 and once we are subtracting, then this value would be 1.5439 divided by 2, okay. So this u is coming out 2.228 and 0 0.7719. Alright. 
okay now what was our u see this term was our u fourth root of 1 plus 5x was u so i am going to write 1 plus 5x is equal to u power 4 our target is to find out x and y from this equation i can write x is equal to u power 4 minus 1 over 5 so let's find out for both the u values for this and for this there would be 2x values so let me write x is equal to i will write u power 4 so 2.228 whole power 4 minus 1 over 5 this one is first and second one would be 0 0.7719 whole power 4 minus 1 over 5 okay so this value is coming out if you will write the first value then this value is 4.7282 this is our answer and second value if you will check it is coming out negative 0 0.129 this is our x all right now y see this was our y from the second equation you can see y is 5x minus 18 okay so from this equation i will put here x is equal to 4.7282 then x is equal to minus 0 0.129 in this equation i will be having y value as 5.641 and minus 18.645 this is our answer x and y i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe till next video bye bye